Cleveland Browns receiver Josh Gordon could be facing a season-long suspension after a second failed drug test months ago, this time for marijuana. This according to sources who told Outside the Lines on Friday. Gordon was the leading receiver in the NFL with over 1,600 yards last season. Let's bring in T.J. Quinn of Outside the Lines, who broke this story along with Don Van Nata Jr. T.J., what can you tell us about how this story came to light? Uh, well, I, I, fortunately, Kevin, I can't get too deeply into it, uh, but we spoke to several sources who uh, were you know, rock solid on this and, and, and trusted, who, who had access to the information. It wasn't, you know, these, these aren't people who were removed ten times. Uh, who did confirm for us something that we had heard uh, a little earlier in the week that uh, that he had indeed been notified that he failed the test that was back in the winter and then in April he was sent another letter from the league saying that uh, he was facing a 16 game suspension. Um, this is of course a second uh, a second failed test for drug of abuse. He was suspended previously for two games uh, and and fined for another two games. Uh, but this is this is a heavy toll that he's going to face. Now he, he can still appeal, uh, but they're, they've, in the whole history of uh, of U.S. professional sports, the only person who ever successfully overturned a positive test was Ryan Braun. Mm. Uh, you know, I spoke with Ron Jaworski earlier and, and mentioned the fact that the Cleveland Browns had the fourth pick in the draft last night, traded it away. They had an opportunity to take what many people believe is the best wide receiver in this draft best wide receiver in a long time to come into the NFL and Sammy Watkins if this test was failed months ago and Gordon learned about this last month why are we only hearing about it now well we didn't know about it before then frankly and they weren't going to announce it um, what, what I don't know is how aware the Cleveland Browns organization was and you know under under these policies when somebody is first notified it's a very very small circle of people who who is told this um it does not get around it, it this happens in in baseball too where there the cases tend to be more publicized where a player is notified and the team really does have no idea whether or not the browns were aware to what extent they were aware i'm not sure uh but i mean obviously they're they're well aware now uh and it's going to you know the expectation at least speaking to our football people is that this is going to play heavily now into whatever they do next you talked about him missing two games last season for a substance violation he was twice suspended while a wide receiver at Baylor, he transferred to Utah. He was never played a down of football there because he was suspended again for failing another test there. The, the season-long suspension, TJ, is that a function of failing the drug test last year, or is this taking into account the body of work? This is, it's, it's only under the policy. It's only for a second offense. I see. Um, so you have the smaller suspension before. Uh, generally, you know, the NFL's policy, like others, when you have somebody who tests positive for a drug of abuse, you know, the first thing they do is try to give the person a chance to get into some sort of rehab or something. Um, but multiple offenses, they come down on you pretty hard. The NFL does have a, you know, a tough policy if you're. Uh, if you fail more than once. Um, and Ken, just to, to go back a second, I did just actually get confirmation as we were speaking uh, that the, the Browns, the hierarchy, at least the front office, they were aware about what might happen with, with Josh Gordon, but that the coaching staff was not. And uh, so that uh, you know, has something to do with what their thinking was. We'll report more on that as it, as it goes along. But you know, from what we were, what we were told, uh, that that uh, at least owner Jimmy, Jimmy Haslam and the GM Ray Farmer that they did have knowledge of the pending positive test, uh, but that the coaching staff itself was not aware.